you use the debug configuration editor to specify which parts of your model should be run in a particular session. Open it using the pull down menu on the debug button. Alternatively, you can open the same dialog from the run menu. This editor is used to launch all kinds of development artifacts, such as C and Java programs. The different kinds of launch are listed in the left hand pane. Under each one, you will find a list of previously created launches of that kind. The verifier launch type is called HTML Execute Application. You create a new launch by first selecting the HTML Execute Application launch type. Now, click on the white rectangle with the yellow plus in the button bar above the launch list. Alternatively, right click and select New. When you create a new Execute launch, you will see a list of all the models in your workspace. Each model expands down to the components and component references defined in it. You place a check mark against each component or reference that you want to start. If you are following the recommended policy of creating separate library and deployment packages, you will typically place the checks against component references. The initializer column value allows you to specify a message to send to initialize a component instance as the session starts. The order in which initializer messages are sent is undefined. The multiplicity column is reserved for future use. Once you have a launch configured, you can bypass the debug configuration editor and start execution directly from the model explorer, or by pulling down the previous launch list from the down arrow beside the debug button in the top toolbar. Now we have seen how to launch a model, we'll discover in following segments what you can do with a running model. Thank you for watching.